Welcome to you bestie, it's Teresa Shea from Fly For Your Fab, and in today's video I'm bringing you a review on my new Marc Jacobs tote bags and I'm telling you how I saved $126 when I bought them girl cause that's the tea you really want to know. I wake up, flex, I'm down that check, no drip this, what? tell them run it up. No sleep, no. First things first, on the Neiman Marcus website, they have a coupon for 15% off of your first order with them. Now, I had never placed an order with Neiman Marcus before, so guess what I got? 15% off. That saved me a total of $81 off of my order. Then, on top of that, I used Rakuten. So if you're not familiar with Rakuten, I talk about it all the time. It's like a great website and app to use to get cash back when you're making purchases. Um, you can use it online at a bunch of stores, and then for some stores, you can link it to your card for when you're shopping in the physical store. Anyways, I Neiman Marcus, they were doing 10% cash back on Rakuten when you used it to make your purchase. So that earned me $45.91 back in cash on my purchase that I will soon get, like, in a check from Rakuten. In total, that's a savings of about $126. And girl, that's nothing to sneeze at because that's almost another bag. Now, the Marc Jacobs tote bags have been on my wish list for a hot minute now. I knew that I wanted to get the large traveler bag for grad school. If you didn't already know, I'll be going to grad school this fall. So I wanted a good everyday carry-all bag that I could use for school. Then, the Year of the Tiger mini tote actually caught my eye when I went to Hawaii back in February. But if you saw my Hawaii vlog, you know I was a woman on a mission, honey. I was trying to get my YSL bag or like another mini Louis Vuitton bag so this bag had to be on the back burner of the wish list for a minute because we had to prioritize the funding. <laughs> right, so now let me tell you guys a little bit about both of the bags and what fits inside. So this is the Marc Jacobs mini tote um, and this is from the Year of the Tiger collection thus the tiger print and the front has this fun orange splash on the front which is why you know I wore a cute little orange outfit for this video and then the back of it is actually just like a plain um, tan color there's no orange back there but that's okay. Then it comes with a removable purse strap which is actually black faux fur and then what I decided to do was actually get another purse strap that I could put on this bag just like switch up my look a little bit so I'm waiting for that to come in from Etsy but I got this really cute like thick gold chunky chain purse strap and I feel like that'll really make this bag look a little bit more edgy and just change up my look when I want to um, and then also on the side of the bag it has like a black faux fur strap as well now, while this is the mini tote bag don't let the name mini fool you child because you can fit a good amount of stuff in this bag for reference this is my iPad Air 5 and I have it in the keyboard case and I actually still have the stuffing that the bag came with inside. <laughs> so I can fit my iPad Air 5 inside this bag and still comfortably zip it shut and I'd be able to get all my other essentials in this bag as well. And that's something that I love as well is that the Marc Jacobs tote bags, there's a zipper up top so you can zip it shut and that's great for me because I don't want anything to fall out and I don't want anybody reaching in either, you know what I mean? <laughs> okay, now let's talk about the large traveler tote bag. This is the bag that everybody's been talking about, girl. Um, it comes in a few different colors. I decided to get it in black because, like I said, this is going to be my everyday grad school bag and I didn't want to have to worry about it getting dirty or messing it up when I'm going like in and out the lab or just moving around at school. I just said, girl, let's go with the basic black and we won't have to worry about it. <laughs> I do like that the handles are nice and stiff and they feel durable because with this bag, there's no room to attach like another strap or anything like that. It's literally meant to just be carried by these handles. Um, it does have a strap on the side, the back patch, of course, so just again, says Marc Jacobs tote bag. And then on the inside, there's like another flap with a zipper where you could place some more things and then zip it shut and then a couple of slots where you could put something like your wallet or anything that you'd want accessible right inside of there as well. But the inside of the bag has like a coated texture or feeling so I feel like it'll be pretty easy to keep clean as well. I don't plan on spilling anything in my bag but if something were to I feel like it'd be pretty easy to clean up as well. Now on the inside other than that flap that I showed you there are not like other organizational compartments. So if you've seen some of my other videos then you already know I love a good purse organizer from Amazon. Um, this this one comes in a bunch of different colors. I decided to go with pink because pink is my favorite color. And it comes in a bunch of different sizes as well. Now I got this bag organizer in the slender large size because that was the size that would fit inside this bag but still allow room for other things to be placed inside your bag like around it. Um, there was a larger version as well that would basically take up the whole bottom of the bag if you wanted it to just be your organizer inside. But I got the slender large so that I could stick this in here and still be able to put like my laptop and some books for school and things like that inside this bag. So this is what the bag looks like with the slender purse organizer in there. As you can see, there's still a good amount of room in there. I could probably have put two of these inside. Uh, then I'm still able to get my laptop inside this bag, books and other things in there as well. 
One thing that I will say about the large traveler tote bag is that it does have a decent little weight to it. It's not super heavy, but once you start adding things like a laptop, books, things like that, this bag is just going to get heavier and heavier. So that is something to bear in mind. As far as deciding which size would be best for you, it honestly just depends on how much stuff you plan to carry with you on a regular basis. So in the mini tote bag, I could comfortably fit my iPad Air and I could still get my other essentials in this bag as well. However, my 13 inch laptop will not fit inside of this bag. And then with the large traveler tote bag, my laptop fits in here quite comfortably. Again, that's a 13 inch laptop and I could still get a ton of other stuff in here, including the purse organizer. So if you're between sizes and you're not sure which one you want to get, you just have to really think about how much stuff are you trying to carry in here on a regular basis. Okay guys, that is everything I have to tell you about my Marc Jacobs tote bags and how I saved a cute coin when I bought them. If you have any questions, you can leave a comment down below and I will get back to you. You can catch me on Instagram, Pinterest, TikTok, all the places child on fly fierce fab everywhere online and be sure to check out my blog too flyfiercefab.com to see how i'm styling these bags and to get outfit ideas and style inspiration if you haven't already subscribed to my channel make sure you hit the subscribe button down below and the notification bell so you're the first to know when i drop a new review video or do a haul thanks for watching stay snatched and i'll see you next time